Yep, what's good y'all, ladies, gentlemen, king, swings, how y'all doing, how y'all feeling? Today, we got Belt Boys versus Belt to Ass Records, the deadliest beef in the city. You know what I'm saying, this is a recommendation uh, from my guy, and Vest God, he told me, you know what I'm saying, this is, give me some backstory on what's going on, because I have no, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm not in tune, I have no, you know, so, we here. Yep, let's we'll see what they got going. Yeah, you know me. I'm do what I do. Which one is this? Is this Young Threat? Or is this? I don't think that's Dizzy. That's the right hit. Now today, we're going to be talking about the aftermath of the federal sweep that left many Fox 5 members locked up. Okay. With so many locked up, it was up to the youngins to come up next. And nobody was coming harder than young Jose's brother, Young Threat. Threat is especially known for being okay, disrespectful okay. to all his ops. They call it Chop City cause a nigga fuck They rip up with that chop Nigga I ain't got no pity First nigga I see I'm a crack his top I've been better for you, I've been better for I've been spending they rip, I've been bringing hot On bro, we been spending the day Go check them niggas dead Prime example, ass little real Got hit all in his head Prime example, ass little the reason oh, Young shit. Threat goes so hard in all his raps is because his friend Marquette Knight, otherwise known as Cubo, sadly passed away. Okay. Allegedly, he passed away while trying to spin Chop a City. This is why they're heavily dissed by Young Threat. I've been doing this shit, call me Threat Rescue, I'm Kenny Triple Devils, what? Oh, I'm this shit like the KKK had kill of a back nigga, so I'm roasting, nigga. Oh, I'm gonna make K fuck me in this shit. Chopper City is a well respected hood in Anacostia Southeast, with many young rappers ready to crash out at a moment's yeah, glance. Sure. Their top rappers, Trey Seven, would be picked up for a murder not too long ago. Allegedly, him and someone else would open fire on L Street Southeast. After doing this, they would call their driver to get away. That same driver would later turn witness, as it appears that their getaway driver was out the loop. This and some further evidence with camera recordings will lead to the arrest of Trey Seven and his unknown. Damn, flashing. Shit. On the other side of the beef, with cruddy murder and sneaky bands both being locked up. In the death of Semi Homie, this would leave some wondering what would happen to all the white peas. This was most noticed in the biggest white pea young slime, apparently falling into depression after the death of some of his friends. He would turn to perks and maybe even fent. All the drugs would catch up to him, leading young slime being put in a coma like state, nearly losing his life. Mm -mm. You would think after something like this, he'd probably turn around his life and stop dissing. But immediately after his revival, he would hop on a song dissing all the foxes and get swapped. But shortly after this, Gizwap would be indicted by the Secret Service, ultimately serving 30 months in jail. You would think with his biggest op being locked up, Young Slime could finally turn away from this lifestyle and focus on music. But this was just the start. No shit. Crazy. Young Check Slime like would assemble not... all the YPs, forming his new crew, Belt to Ass Records. Uh, the okay. biggest members is the alleged young Dizzy Chaser, Inmar from the V, who could be seen upon his release from prison, 
going back and forth with Young Threat. Why'd your mouth back? Do something to your little ass. Ooh, I will slap the shit out of you. Oh, you ain't trying to get on Octo like no funny nigga. You don't need me on Octo. You need me on Octo. You beat me somewhere. Meet me at the 37. Say what? Meet me at the 37 right now. Nah, 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 meet a nigga said they thought you was all fit right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Try run up on me, you can hit with a black. Okay. I hit in this leg, but I ain't for his neck. When I get on the box, I'ma show yeah. you his neck. Try go on that hill, try and catch me a threat. He said I shot five, I'm one of them vets. Try run a nigga down, try and leave his ass stretch. We ain't bringing up ears, that nigga a rat. Got caught down in jail, that nigga got checked. Damn. Popular character dissed in their raps. His 37th affiliate, Young Ears. Ears was abandoned by his members once he was labeled hot snitching on a deceased member. I mean, if you ask me, I don't think it's ever that serious. I mean, he's dead. Nonetheless, the streets live with him that's, a rat. That's a, that's a hot topic right there. Because it's like, it's tough, but like, if you think logically, like, if somebody passed, you know that person is jacking that. Like, they be, keep it on it. If somebody passes away, and they are not doing, they're not taking a fall for nothing. They're not going down for nothing. Come on, bro. That's, that's just, come on. Like, ratting is ratting regardless. But, like, I don't know, bro. That's shaky. It's shaky. It's shaky, bro. It's shaky. I don't know what niggas clarify. I, I don't know if they, you know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get it, you get it. Nah, it's, fuck it, bro. I mean, I he's know. dead. Nonetheless, the streets labeled him a rat, and once he entered the jails, he was stabbed so many times, some even thought he passed away. Oh, shit. Now, what's special about Mar from the V is because he's actually from the Columbia Heights neighborhood in Northwest. This is the first time that I've known of an uptown link between Columbia Heights and Paradise. This is especially surprising because Young Threat is known to have ties in that same Columbia Heights neighborhood. Mm. Mar from the V would go on to not only diss his Northeast Ops, but take it uptown. I been spinning the nose by the take it uptown. Okay. Round, round, that cop with a whole lot of rounds. I'ma kill Jody Booth, pin his ass to the ground. I'm banging that fat on his car out of bounds. I'm banging that fat while I'm banging that fit. He was way too fast, couldn't catch you on this. Try to leave him in the alley, try to do him like Rick. I'ma cut off my box when shit ain't risk. I'ma go on that hill and I'm coming with Swiss. Now, even though these two groups would go back and forth, Young Threat would eventually be locked up due to his beef with another Northeast neighborhood, this time spending the dead in Trinidad. What surprised me the most about this is that allegedly Threat tried to do this a day after a snowstorm. After gunshots were heard, a chase would ensue, and I'm guessing Threat realized his foot tracks were being seen in the snow, so he tripping. kicked off his yeah. Nike boots and ran on his socks. <laughs> Threat would eventually be apprehended in an alley the... with a mini Draco pistol on his slide. This is where I thought it was just another DMV artist being locked away. All in his head, since a kid had a dream about the fears. I know I'm gonna go, I just got you for fear. Free little E push my knife out the Y'all, I couldn't believe it. Threat was out, not even two days later. Oh, sure. And he immediately went on live so and went back to dragging on all his ops. I created this shit, man. I paved the way for you, young nigga. I paved the way for you, young nigga. I'm the reason you wanna talk. Water. Key on the reason you talk. Will Threat slow down and focus on the music? Or will he finally catch number 10? I'm a young wolf vet, man, a black can see. Since 14, man, I've been jamming out with. Trying to catch me a Vic on a hard rip. I'm gonna say it again, because I really do spend. I catch one more body, I swear, man. Damn! What the fuck was that? saying shit like that, like the this and the dead. Some people be really our family, man, was you and me, our cousins and shit like that be passing away, so we just make sure they names still alive in the music. Condolences, man, we giving out our condolences. That's a kind gesture, yeah. That's all we do up here. All right. Yeah. Uh, sure think, buddy. <laughs> We're not buying the shit, bucko. <laughs> That's what the fucking, you know what I'm saying? They thinking in the fucking, 
Like it's strong. Come on, I'm trying to think. So, who is the niggas they they call the foxes? I, I heard foxes, fox like yeah, I've heard, I heard. I'm hearing shit, but I'm uh, they they losing me in the middle. Like, you know, what I'm saying I, I I hate that I just watched eight minutes and you know what I'm saying came out with only a literal info. So it's young threat, young dizzy. Young Slime, uh, damn, son, what the fuck? Nah, I my short-term memory is terrible. My memory is terrible in general, so I apologize. I might have to do a rewatch, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all can plug in the, plug in the, um, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the blanks. Plug in the, uh, I can't even think of the words. My shit is so bad, but hey, bruh. I, I appreciate you trying once again, you know what I'm saying, NFS, yep. Nope, nope, I apologize for the, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, links in the description getting tuned. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, y'all take it easy. Good bit, 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 bit. Good bit.